Hi, my name is John Storms, and we are going to do something cool today. So what I have is I have this E, not E, I have this uh, Lightarama CMB D24 or CMB 24D uh, controller. And this controller you can set up to run in standalone mode. So my daughter has a birthday party. I got some floods out front. I want to set them up to do a little bit of a pattern, but I don't want to have a full on computer and all that running. So we are going to make it so it can operate in standalone mode. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to write myself a quick little sequence. So I pull up the sequence editor. And it's coming up. And so what I do is I say I'm going to do a new animation sequence. Uh, this only needs to be like 30 seconds long. I'm just going to say one channel because I'm not going to use them anyway. And I get the timing set to a tenth of a second. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to insert device below. It is a CMB 24D. It is on, it is configured for chat for hex 12. And I have it set up for eight RGB channels. All right. Now I'm us only using the first three. So what I simply wanted to do, is I just wanted to go through some rainbow colors. All right. Oops, I'll do this, swap. Choose this, swap, choose that. Swap, choose blue. And the purple. And then back to red. Very nice, very easy. And I'm gonna do the, I have three floods hooked up, so I'm gonna do this on three channels. And I just kinda want it to chase itself. Come back to here. My base color is gonna be red. I'm gonna fill this in with red. Like that. And then I do copy, paste, paste, again. Now there's not enough room, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say paste mode, stretch to fit. That way it comes out perfect. Okay. So I save this, I'm going to call it Simple Rainbow. This is an animation file, not a, not a musical sequence. There we go. Now we have light. So there's my little sequence. Okay? Shouldn't have been that hard, but happens very well. So I'm just basically cycling through rainbow colors. Okay, so that is saved. I turned it off. Now what I do is I go to the hardware utility. And I say, refresh. So it's searching for all my Lightarama devices. And I'm looking for my CMB24D Lightarama controller at 12, which is right here. Now on the hardware utility, I go to the standalone button, okay? And here you can say run whenever the power is on, run during a schedule. Actually, it's not highlighted here probably because there's no clock. And I can also set up a trigger and I had another video about triggers. So I can select the sequence. So I'm gonna select my simple rainbow and I click on download. And it is download. So I just wait.
Now, if at any point I decide I don't want it to do this anymore after this is loaded, I can come here and hit delete and it won't play it. Um, but the way it's going to work is anytime I just power on the unit, this sequence automatically starts. Now, it doesn't have any music in it, it's just an animation sequence, but that's fine. Okay, about two thirds there. No more, a little more. And this is the standalone sequence downloader. Okay, download complete. So now if I hit sequence on, the sequence starts. I click sequence off, sequence off. The sequence stops progressing, but the lights are still on. If I click lights off, they turn off. So now it should be good. Okay, so I can come out, I can just shut this utility down. I come over here to my controller. I power it off. I unplug the Lightorama RS-45 network. So now it's truly standalone. I power it up. Voila! I have a standalone sequence.